Hello friends, we're gonna do a quick intro and outro for this video. I filmed a bunch of cleaning clips over the past few weeks um, and I just wanted to mash them all together and do a quick intro. I hope that you enjoy seeing me clean all of the various spaces of my nail room. So this drawer of my big giant desk unit is all of my nail things. So in this top drawer, I have white and black polishes, nail art things, my fan, um, clips, and then like pedicure stuff. The second drawer is all stamping things, all of my stamping plates, stamping polishes. And then this is all nail art things or like random stuff. So like stickers, sponges, striping tape, um, dried flowers, all of these random things. And then this drawer is usually what holds my gel things and my gel lamp and all of that. So that will stay like this. But now I have all of these nails to put away and like this thing and I got these little clipper things. I have a bunch of nail glue. So I'm just going to work on getting this drawer to look a little bit better. I do have this bottom one that's really pretty much empty. The only thing I keep in here are my um, like filming backgrounds. So if I want or need to add things to that drawer later, I might do that. But for right now, this should be more than enough room for everything I have up here. So these are my first little set of nail art press-ons. And these I'm actually going to move over to somewhere else and store my press-ons in like an actual place. And then this, well, this is my e-file. And I want to keep all my e-file stuff like together, which is pretty much all of these items. Okay, then I also have this stuff. So these are my new press-on tips that will need to go somewhere. These are poly gels, and I honestly can't imagine that I will use these if I'm being completely honest. They open. These might need to be a giveaway. I can't imagine that I will use these because I'm pretty bad at things and I'm just now learning how to do things so yeah I don't know I don't think that I need to keep them though but I do have these this is where you put like your um, nail tips on when you're like working on them so maybe this will be like my little press on station with these I don't like how this doesn't fit though hold I also don't know that I will use this thing. This is like a, um, oh, it works. It's like another drill thing, but I have all of these with my e-file, so. I can't imagine that I'll use this either. This stuff was PR. Um, I think this goes with my Lemony Macaroon thing. But, if we empty this out, should be able to pop all that stuff in for my press-ons. And my gel lamp. This is like a sculpting thing, which again, I might put in this giveaway with this poly gel stuff. I wanna keep this, but I don't know that it needs to be like front and center of everything. If 
Okay, and then I also have all of this Zoya stuff. So, like, I got that Zoya kit back in the day. Um, what is this called? The Naked Manicure, like, system when they were doing their gel system. I haven't really used it since. Um, but I'll go ahead and keep everything in this. Maybe I'll put oh, these poly gels in here for now. Just in case I get like a wild hair. And that can go right there. It wasn't a ton to fix. But now I have a place for all my press-ons. So when I want to work on press-ons, I can just lift this whole thing out. Love that. Hello. I don't know where this is fitting. I feel like it might be like a clean clean my nail area with me video maybe um but I'm getting ready to clean these shelves just randomly I'm feeling like absolute trash right now um it's period week and I just feel terrible so I was like let me just do something kind of mindless and go through these shelves and like dust them and clean them and make myself feel better and fresh and clean so yeah that's what I'm gonna do and I figured I would um film it because I know that you all like cleaning things. I also need to dust these shelves and maybe like clean this area and then clean kind of like my little nail caddy probably. So it might just be like a clean with me nail addition type of video. So I already did this shelf and I just wiped everything down and wiped the shelf down. I have this sleeping mask thing from London Town. I do like this. I just don't wear it that often. I have this nail scrub. It's the Soft Touch Nail Scrub from London Town. I love this. I don't think it's like a need to purchase type of thing though because you could just make like a sugary scrub. And then I have a couple non-toxic polish removers. One from Static Nails and one from Terra Beauty. I used to have all these poppies up there and I'm just going to get rid of them because I don't use them I don't like them I don't particularly think that they do anything Here, let me move you. I don't particularly think that they do anything and also I'm not like fully supporting Olive and June really anymore so yes one shelf is done and beautiful I'm sure that I'll move some things around maybe um but yeah let's move on to this let's just do up here I'll do up here kind of like my lotion shelf I have these two lotions I really like this Haba one I think you can get it from Ulta I got it in like a ipsy bag or something I don't like the smell let me make sure yeah I don't love the smell of this one from Zoya I kind of it's better than I thought but it's not my favorite I just will keep it up here for now lemony flutter which I absolutely love um, I have a couple of these like mini sample sizes uh, from Unicorn Magic. I think it's Unicorn Magic Skincare. Something. This is the Unicorn Farts one. She sent me a couple of these little samples. I have one in my purse and then one extra. And then these two are from Meraki. I don't even think that they're doing anything anymore. I haven't looked in a while. They smell incredible. Yeah, they smell really good and I like them a lot. I just, I have a lot of lotion. I haven't used them in a while. So I don't know that I'm going to like keep these. And then I just have a couple more like random things. These are both Burt's Bees. I love this hand salve, but I think this might be done. Yeah. There's like nothing left in that basically. And their cuticle cream is so good. This is almost empty too. <sighs> Smells so good. We're looking like scary thin <laughs> over here. And then this is like pretty much all oils. <laughs>
shelves. This one is my favorite. It's freaking beautiful. Um, yeah, all of the oils and things. Up here I have all of my extra brushes and orange sticks. I have a like swatch uh, latex barrier. I'm not going to promote this because I don't deal with that brand. Um, and two serums. I do like this London Town serum a lot. I have this one that I pretty much used completely all up. Um, so I have a backup up there. And then I have the Zoya Hydrating Serum. I have the Zoya Hydrate Serum. Um, I can't remember how I feel about this. I don't really think that it... It felt, it felt weird to spray it. Like, it doesn't... It feels like I'm using a hand sanitizer, but it's supposed to be hydrating. I'm not sure about it. It feels weird. Like, it feels like... It feels weird, but I'll keep it for now. This last shelf, I don't know what to do with it. I'm kind of, like, not worried. I'm worried about it. I'm kind of like, I don't know what to do about it. These are my backup polishes. Oh, I forgot to mention, I used to have these fast drops on one of the shelves, but they're almost empty and I think, oh, never mind. I thought I was going to refill my little dropper bottle, but I am not. So I will put this back up on my shelf. Maybe I'll put them here since this is looking sparse. Beautiful. Okay. So I have three Kale Polish Coconut Milk backups. I have my regular bottle over there. And honestly... They, these two look the same. This one is really yellow. Can you see? Like these two look pretty similar. This one's super yellow. I don't know if that's just because it's really separated, but I think I'm going to get rid of these. I think I'm going to put them on my D-Stash. I mentioned in another video that I will be doing a D-Stash. And so I'm going to wait until I put, until I'm going to wait to post everything until I do the D-Stash video so that um, if you're watching the YouTube video, you have a chance to, um, get everything if you were wanting it, but I think I'm going to put all three of these up for a D-stash. See what this pile of stuff later. Um, I have my Buddy Romance. I have a little thing. Can you see my color clutch right here? I have a color clutch that has like... It only has two right now and they're both green but they are like holy grail polishes for me um and so i've been collecting like backups to put in there and so i have my other backup of budding romance and then i have build me up buttercup which is like supposed to be a dupe for this so i'll keep both of these i have a backup of magic attraction from color club um i have a backups of this white and black from Loud Lacquer, they just sent me some extras. So I guess I'll put them up there. This is a backup of Essie Splash of Grenadine. This is one of my favorite color slash formulas, but I don't wear slash promote Essie anymore, so I kind of feel bad having a backup of it. So I'm not quite sure what to do about this yet. Um, yeah. Then I have a bunch of, I have a bunch of nine zero backups. Um, I have the Colt, which came kind of with like this big D stash bundle that I bought. Um, a backup of Sprinkles, which I love. Backup of Bubbly. And then this one's way separated, but this is, um, Singer Auto Salvage, which should be kind of like this green color, but it's super separated. Um, all of these are staying. I'm not getting rid of any of my 9-0 backups for sure. And then I also have the Kale Polish Tuxedo Mask as a backup, which I think I'll keep just because it's a black and you never have enough of those. But I might get rid of my St. Clair backup. This is my other favorite from Kale Polish. Um, 
but they are no longer a brand, nor do I support Kathleen and Lights Lacquer. So I think I'll get rid of this one too. Oh my gosh. I just wanted this to kind of, this is what it's supposed to look like, but it separates a lot. Should I keep it? I don't know if I should keep it. I have the splash. Let me look at. Yeah. So I have a handful of Essies that I haven't worn because I don't want to promote them. Like I don't want to wear them around. I feel like I should just get rid of them. I'm not going to wear it because then I'm going to be like, oh, this is Essie. Don't buy it. I think I'm going to get rid of all of them. Okay. So. Clean shelves. Now they're a little dusty and gross either, so love that. Okay, so I'm gonna do this next shelf. It's pretty much all nail things, like everything else in my room. The top is kind of just like cuties. Then I have all my gel, which is like real, real dusty. And then some like printer paper things, more nail supplies, and then more nail supplies down on the bottom. So I'm gonna start with this top shelf. Actually, I should probably do like all the way up there. Let's try that. So this top shelf, like I said, is just little kitschy, cute things. This room spray is so good. I'll try to leave a link below. They're out of Florida. Oh, it smells so good. I'm pretty sure it's Florida. I think it's Florida. <laughs> This is that color clutch that I was mentioning before and I'm hoping to fill it up at some point but right now it only has two polishes in it. It has Singer Auto Salvage and then Budding Romance. Um, this is a color clutch but I don't think they're in business anymore. They haven't posted on their Instagram in like two or three years so I don't know but it just has all the cuties in it and then I have a little Hey Arnold and a Dean that sit on top. And then for in the middle of my shelf, I have my beautiful pup dog. She sits right here with her collar. And then I won like a giveaway thing with Orly to make a custom color. And so I made the color of her collar and it is named Rudy. Will it focus on that? Probably not. It's named Rudy so I just keep it up here as like a little decor piece. And it sits right there all pretty. And then I have this. We made this the um, day after we had to put her down. So I just put it here and it's so freaking cute. 
I don't know what you're seeing right now. I'm texting my mom. She found some clothes. <laughs> okay. Next. It's all of this gel polish. So these really need a dusting. So I'm going to take everything off and then dust them all. I also am debating getting rid of this lemon macaroon set. I don't really use them. Um, and I also have this D&D set that I might get rid of because I also don't use these. So, yeah. So here is my gel polish situation. Now on this one I have Nail Addict. All of this is PR. Um, so just, yes, yeah, just for your information. Um, Nail Addict and then I have Dimension Nails. And then all of this is Madame Glam. They are probably my favorite out of all the gels that I've ever received. Um, I just feel like they're really, really nice and they can be really affordable with like their sales and things. So yes, I'm just... They've just been sitting here and getting really dusty, but I've been making a lot of press-ons now, and I'm like, ooh, now I'm seeing everything looks really dusty, so, yes. For the next shelf, I really don't think that there's anything super interesting, um, or a lot to dust. I'm just gonna do a quick dust around here. Down here, I usually lint roller these because they get really gross, but I don't think they're that bad right now. I don't want to do that. Done. Did you notice that I forgot these? These are my baby Madam Clams. I got them in a, um, what is it called? Advent calendar. Ah. Now it's done. I've shown this a lot of times, I feel like, but this is my little nail caddy. It's always linked down below. Currently, it's looking like this. It's looking a little messy. So we are going to go ahead and give this a clean as well. That's pretty awful. go in hard and get these little edges. Oh, look at 
corners. a lot better a lot of the stuff in here is like um polish so like this is where i put my orange stick so all that is just polish that's actually on there but it's no longer dusty if you've not seen before i have this bin that i keep all of my big liquids in and then I refill everything. So I'll go ahead and do that while we're here. Oh no, that's too much, too much. I'm making a mess. Cause I built out, I did too much. <laughs> This is something I bought literally when I started doing nails, which would be five years ago now. Five years, love. And I just keep refilling this little bottle. It's not my favorite. I don't recommend it, but still using it. Okay, now we need to put it all back together. I think I'm going to switch how I do it because I used to do... The remover and a bunch of cotton squares but i think i'm gonna try to maximize my space a little bit and put all the cotton squares over here because i always try to put like what i'm working on in here and i never have enough room so i think that's what i'm gonna do is put cotton squares is that what i want to do i don't know let's try some things It's not bad so I have all my cotton over here so it's like not completely taking up a ton of space I have two different kinds of tweezers I don't really use both of them but I just like to have them here my polish remover pump these are fast dry drops I have my nail bed healer which I use a lot cuticle remover and nail oil a little buffer block maybe I could put that over here I don't know. We'll see how I feel about that. I have some polishes I need to swatch and then if I need to put anything in here because like I'll grab this and then I usually dump everything onto my cotton squares that I'm working on. But now maybe I can fit a little bit more things. Here I have my acetone and my little acetone cup. The base and top coat that I'm using at the moment right now is just these two from Dimension Nails. I have my scissors, cuticle nippers, my um nail clips, the uh, remover brushes that I'm using right now. I need to find a holy grail one. The elf one is just not doing it for me anymore. 
and the Terra Beauty one is a little soft. I haven't used it too much yet, so I might still like the Terra Beauty, but I'm not sure. And my file. So that is clean and beautiful. We'll see how I like this like setup versus my other one. It's not too different. Like all of this is still the same. I just flip flopped these things basically. So there is that. <sighs> and now I have some polishes I need to put away. So let's do that. Here's the current polishes that I need to put away. I did some nail art and then I filmed my fall polishes. So all of that is still here and needs to be put away. I um, have some swatch sticks that I need to make these over here but I don't think I'm gonna have time right now because I want dinner so we will do these and then that will be done and then my room will be fairly clean for polish things I never really know what is a good angle to show you all this because I don't know what you want to see but I'm gonna time lapse this probably so I'll just go for it I'm also supposed to start next week so I am mm craving like cokes and sugar and caffeine so love that for me let's put away all this crap All done there except for the ones I need to label but at some point we will go through this this has turned into just chaos if you saw my last declutter I tried to keep one drawer of PR and then have one drawer open but PR quickly kind of got out of control I need to do another D stash I need to get this under control like it's just crazy and part of me is like do I just leave it like this like leave it a mess I hate this so much but like I'll probably be getting rid of all of my olive and June so that'll be out of the picture um unfortunately I really didn't like these Cuccio I wish that they would send me like a different collection or something because this just was not my jam I did not like this so all of these will probably go um so yeah I'm just not sure quite what to do with this yet so there's that but everything is clean on this side of the room for the most part and I love that for me this little table doesn't really get a lot of like mess because I literally just move around the paper for taking pictures so that's pretty much it I think for right now do we not feel so much better? I feel like everything is dusted and beautiful and clean and put away. So I hope that you enjoyed cleaning with me. I'll try to do these every now and then. I don't clean, like clean as much as I should. I organize more often, but I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching.